Fitness and health has always been my passion, for as long as I can remember, really. I'm from a small town called Cannonsburg. It's 30 minutes south of Pittsburgh, PA. Cannonsburg is a special town, not only because I'm from there, but because we have our own chocolate factory, we have some people that were in the Olympics, and we also have the famous Harry Como. That's a little background of where I'm from, but what I'd like to do is take you through a day in the life of a fitness blogger. I wake up, have my shot of espresso. This is the first thing I need to do to wake my body up, get my mind thinking creatively, and then the writing begins. You may think that blogging is simple and it's so easy to do. You just think of a topic and you start to write. But let me just inform you, it takes a lot of thinking creatively. You have to research. It's exhausting because sometimes you think of something to write, it doesn't make sense. Sometimes I just stare at the computer thinking that it'll just get written itself. But once I start going, the topic flows and then I take a little break to get my juices flowing again. I love to make green juices. This is one of my favorite things to do daily. It's so nutritious, it helps nourish your body, and you feel so good. This is one of my favorite juices. It's spicy with but tons of greens, and it's ready in seconds. I highly recommend you making a juice yourself. This will help give you the energy and the thinking power that you need. Now I'm on a mission, back to my blog writing. I have to get it done before I can even leave the house. But then I start to multitask by foam rolling, and I love doing this. I possibly even listen to music. This is a great way to multitask. It helps me to think, too. I have to change my positions, get comfortable so that I can think appropriately. I even get frustrated because I just want to leave. So then I get a little inspiration, do a little workout, and then I get right back to writing. Possibly outside. But it is tempting to take a little rest. So I jump in my car and I head out to accomplish some other things. Of course, I like to jam in my car. You'd be amazed at what fits inside my little car. I have the total gym and all of my filming equipment. All of the magic happens behind this small little camera. And this is what it looks like behind the scenes. Certain days of the week, I go to my factory job. Yes, I do work at a plastic factory. This factory is very unique because they make plastic for everything that you probably use daily. Most American cars are even made from the plastic that we make at this factory. But I'm their health and wellness coordinator. I come on site to give them stretches, strengthening exercises, and help them perform their jobs ergonomically correct. And if they're not, then I have to whip them into shape. If they have any kinds of aches or pains, I show them the stretches that they can do and joke around while we're on site. I watch and observe their tasks daily, and I create these stretches that they can do while they're performing their tasks, such as forklift stretches. They might not be the most coordinated group, but I try to find ways that they can relieve the stress in their back. I even get on them about their diets. I have to educate them on nutrition. I even teach them how to do stretches while they're doing their work. If you know what stretches to do, then you can properly take care of your body. I even go out on the railroad to make sure that they're performing their jobs correctly. I have to keep them in line. Keeping track of 500 guys on a rotational basis is a task. But let's blow this popsicle joint and let's get on to some more things that I do in my day. Like spend time with my two favorite little people, my nephew Austin and my niece Avery. They are just the gems and the loves of my life. We spend a lot of time doing fun things, like having little dance parties, working on our best moves to break it down anywhere we are. And I have to say, this kid has talent. We play at the park, we dig a little, I even teach him some circus moves. He's so strong and he's a circus guy in training. I just love hanging out and spending time with him. And then there's my little niece, Avery. She's so cute and bubbly. I just absolutely adore these two little kids and spending time with them as much as I can. Well, it's back in the car, caffeine time. A lot of times throughout the day, I like to take my usual stop to the coffee shop. I'm always in a hurry, trying to run in, get out, get my caffeine, and then get back on the road because it's workout time. It's so important to incorporate a workout every day for myself. It helps clear my thoughts, it helps motivate me, and energizes my soul to be creative. But while I run, I tend to be a little bit more creative. So I run and blog at the same time. 
It may seem silly to some, but for me, it's a part of what makes me so creative while I'm running. It helps me to be able to see the scenes around me, to keep my mind moving, and I really multitask well. That's when some of my best creative blogs happen. I also like to strength train and add a little bit of functional power into my workouts. So if you ever see someone running and texting at the same time, it's probably me blogging. Just give me a wave. I also like to do what I created called Playa Pilates. It's so unique. It incorporates yoga, Pilates, martial arts, and athletic power in one creative workout. I also train my clients outside at a park or a track. I make them work to the best of their abilities so that they obtain their workout goals. Now it's time to take a little stroll to my favorite stores. Let's face it, girls love to shop, but I get these clothes for my workout videos. And of course, I like to stop back at my favorite juice shop. This is something that you really should incorporate every day because it's so great for your body and it energizes me to write my blogs. So as I sit and drink my juice and feel my body, I got blogging on my mind. It gets me creative again, and I can't stop until I'm done finishing my thoughts. Before I leave this cute area, I have to stop at my other favorite store, of course, to look and see what they have from my blogging videos. Sometimes I also have some computer problems, and I have to take my usual trip to Apple, and they give me the news that I don't want to hear. So I get a little preoccupied and start playing around with the other toys. I always have fun when I go to Apple, even if I am having computer problems. I go to the store to get some good food as well. Ready for showtime. This is one of my favorite parts of the day, and it's something I reward myself with by going to my aerial silks class. It's something that challenges me, it makes me feel creative, it works on my strength, and it's so exciting to try to do new tricks. I somewhat feel like I've missed my calling of being in Cirque du Soleil. Wouldn't that be amazing? They're so inspiring, and every time that I feel that I can do a trick, there's just so much more to learn. So it's just something that's become my passion. In the car and on the road again, back home, start my blogging. I finish off the day with the thoughts that I've had, trying to finish everything that I have been creating throughout the day. I have to edit the videos until completion. It's always a work in progress, but I take pride in what I write and what I deliver to you out there so that you can read, learn, and be inspired from the work that I do.